Hey everybody, Coach Troy here. Now, as we all know, Target has definitely upped their game when it comes to games. That phrasing is strange. Anyway, Target has definitely stepped it up, all right? They're, they've got a ton of great games. You're going to see high quality games. You're going to say popular games, hot games, new games by great designers and solid companies. But that was not always the case in the dark days. You know, all you could do was maybe some Uno, Sorry, Clue, and maybe some Rock'em Sock'em Robots. <laughs> but I say those days are done, and it was a strange transition. You know, I, I was talking with a friend of mine about how, you know, how Target has done, how they have changed, and it got to me thinking, uh, what are some of the weird and craziest games I've seen at Target while this transition happened? All right, so here's my five games I was pretty shocked to see at Target. All right, this first game, it's actually a very good game. I'm a big fan of it. Um, the thing was, though, is because it was an IP game, and IP games used to be, for the most part, garbage. They were just made to sell. Like, look at all the early Harry Potter games terrible all right and so when you see an ip normally it was bad uh and i was also shocked at the ip they chose this was way this was before all the 80s nostalgia was really coming in and hitting hard so this was like the first thing i really saw for that and it's bob ross the art of chill look at this smiling happy face so when he greeted me at target i was definitely a little bit surprised um, but in this box, do not be fooled, uh, I was definitely apprehensive, I did not get this game right away, it took me a while because I didn't trust it, I thought it was gonna be bad. I like Bob Ross, who doesn't like Bob Ross, but I was definitely, you know, not willing to take that plunge right away. Um, but once I did, uh, I found that there's a fantastic game in here, this is a set collection game very akin to a ticket to ride almost you're not laying down the track but but collecting the colors that you need to lay down and and create the paints so you are actually trying to paint different pictures um there is some dice there is a die in there and there's some cards there's different there's some luck involved a little bit but mostly it's just a very solid set collection game i actually like it better than ticket to ride i think it's a little bit more fun uh, I might be in the minority there, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, Bob Ross, surprised to see this game, but very happy to. Now, I wouldn't be shocked to see this because there's all kinds of weird 80s nostalgia. Um, I think it's beginning to kind of cool down, but for, for a while there, we were just getting punched in the face with 80s. And this, I think, was the start that I remember. Now, this next game was a game um, I had played before, and it's not that I was shocked to see this game no no i mean everyone has seen this game just about everyone knows about this game i was just shocked to see it at target of all places squeaky clean target good nice family friendly image of target so when i saw this i'm definitely just a, just a little bit shocked it's like i can't believe they have this here oh yeah, Cards Against Humanity. And yes, I do have the giant box. Um, cards Against Humanity, yeah, it's that party game we've all played. We've all had the friend like, hey, play this. It's actually, you know, it does wear out its welcome pretty quick if you play it too much. I have this, and I have it actually pretty filled. And that's why I have fun with it, because I play it maybe once a year, and I never see the same card. But the fact that they had this, with this label in here, at Target with some of this, yeah. Shocked, shocked, shocked to see it. Now in my next game, movie IPs in games were not a new thing, you know. There's a ton of them. They've been around. They've been doing it a lot. Um, but this particular one I was shocked to see because it was a movie that I loved a lot. It is a movie that I love a lot. And I just never thought I would see a game of it. I mean, there, there are certain games or certain movies, popular movies, that you just know are going to get one, two, five, twenty different versions of games made out of them. Um, but there's some that you just never think you're going to see. And that's Groundhog Day. 
Now, <laughs> I've actually still never played this game. I haven't even opened this one yet. I got it because I, got, I love Bill Murray. I love anything that Bill Murray does. And um, absolutely love this movie. Only problem is... This seems like a game where I couldn't break it out with just anybody. I would have to play it with people who also like the movie Groundhog Day. So it's a little too specific, I think, in my mind. Like, you're looking at Bob Ross earlier. You don't actually have to know Bob Ross to be able to appreciate that game. It's still a good game. This one, I feel, even though I haven't played it, I just feel that the uh, the theme is going to be just a little pushed a little too hard it looks like it's a cooperative game i'm guessing trying to get through the day or trying to yeah trying to get through multiple days or whatever i don't know all i know is that it says there's a, there's a card that says you get to punch ned all right and that <laughs> that makes me happy so yeah i haven't played this game but i was very shocked to see that of all movies that they could pick to make a game out of they went with this one surprise surprise now, I'm not... Actually, I'm a big cereal fan. I do love cereal. Cereal is delicious. But I don't try to eat it so much. But once a year, I always get three boxes of cereal. <laughs> a very specific kind of cereal that only comes out once a year. And it comes out during my favorite holiday, of course. And if you know me, you know that's Halloween. And so the cereal that they decided to make a game out of was Monster Crunch. So you got your Boo Bear, your Frankenberry, and your Count Chocula. It's actually never a big Count Chocula fan. And also your Fruit Brute. And I don't think I've actually ever seen Yummy Mummy. There's a Yummy Mummy, but I don't think I've actually even seen that cereal in there. And um, Fruit Brute, the werewolf here, I haven't... I saw them recently, but it was definitely not one that I saw a lot growing up as a kid. But Boo Berry and Frankenberry absolutely love them I actually mix them together when I ate a bowl of cereal um, don't judge me yes I am still five years old up here now the game itself it's actually not a terrible game it's just a nice little hand management game where you're trying to um, get through your bowl of cereal you're collecting milk tokens and just you know silly stuff like that it's not the Biggest creative. It's like you play the game in like 15, 20 minutes. It's not that long. You can play with younger people. Um, not a terrible game. Not anything award winning, but just the fact that they made a game out of cereal and not just any cereal. They didn't even pick Cheerios. Probably couldn't get the license for Cheerios. I'm guessing they would probably be pretty stingy. It probably is a Cheerios game, but I'm guessing it's like really, really bad. And definitely not worth it. But anyway, I'm rambling. This, this one shocked me. This one I was very, very surprised to see. Um, almost enough to make it my number one, but not quite. Now my number one game, um, some of you may have guessed it. Because you've got IPs of movies, of games, of books. You have serial IPs. You've got lots and lots of different IPs of TV shows, all kinds of things. But there was one I was just really, really shocked to see because, sure, it's definitely, definitely popular, but very specifically popular. And I don't think that the people who are into this particular IP would necessarily be big into gamers. I'm sure there's a few people that are, you know, that, you know, the Venn diagram is right there and they're sitting right in the middle. But I don't think it's that huge could be wrong I don't I may be judging but the fact that Kenny G Kenny G has a game and not only does he have a game but they called it keeping it sexy at squeaky clean family friendly target I was shocked to see this one and again this is not a crazy intense game not a great game not a terrible game it's just a it's a cooperative game of getting through a day in the life of Kenny G and, you know, you got your good things that happen and bad things that happen and whatnot. Um, it's, 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 a, it's definitely a different kind of game. And it comes with a little wooden Kenny G meeple. Very different. Not expecting to... I don't think anyone was expecting to see this game come along. No one was hollering and demanding that there be a Kenny G game. I need a game based on going through the life of Kenny G. No one was asking for it. Some reason we got it. 
And it's not completely terrible. It's actually a playable game. You can enjoy this game. So anyway, those are the games that I was shocked to see them at Target. Like I say, nowadays Target has actually got a fairly solid lineup. That being said, still support your friendly local game stores, all right? Support the local game stores. You're going to get better. So don't just go to Target. Use them, especially when they got discounts. Hit up those discounts, sure. But support those other game stores first. That way they stay around and you get those bigger uh, sections of games. And Target will never have a play area, I don't think. They do have a play area, but that's just where people stop paying attention to their children and let them run wild in the toy section. So yeah, those are the five games I was shocked to see at Target. Uh, anything that surprised you? Anything that some of these not surprise you? Were you expecting to find a game about Halloween cereals? Anyway, let me know what you think. This is Coach Troy, and I'll see you all next time. If you enjoyed that video, feel free to subscribe. If you're interested in my other hobbies, of uh fitness or retro gaming check out my other channels anyways this is coach troy i'll see y'all next time